So why did 90% of people lose money in the stock market? You know, if it's possible to make this money, and this is including some of the big funds as well, you know, you've probably heard of some large hedge funds and some fund managers who you think should have known better, um, have had very, very poor results. Well, the reason being is a lot of people just don't have a simple plan. You know, they come into trading and it's a bit like a casino almost for them. You know, they're excited, they want to bet on things. And of course, the internet has made the process much faster as well. You've got to realize a trading strategy doesn't need to be complex. In most cases, it's the simple ones that work best. Okay, so if I show you some of the strategies today and you think, crikey, it can't be that easy, it can't be that simple. Well, these are the strategies that I use. If you want to go ahead and try something else, please be my guest. Um, but this is exactly what I do. Many fail before they even start. You know, I just showed you a file there of just some of the comments, and believe me, that's not all of them. Um, you know, they think, well, no, it just can't be, it can't be right. This can't be that easy. It can't be that simple to work through. Well, if you start off with that attitude already, then you're in the case of that you've lost before you've even started. You know, everybody that I've met, both in business and in trading, you know, they had some sort of confidence. They did believe it would work, even through the hard times when things weren't working. You've also got to learn to admit that you're wrong. Okay, in many cases, our trades will either make no money, break even, um, or make a loss. But you know what? What's interesting? Even if the majority of your trades lose money, you can still make money. So even a, if 8 out of 10 trades go wrong, the 2 trades that go right can pay basically the 8 trades that have gone wrong and still make you, you know, profit. So, simple terms. Let's say we do 8 trades and lose £100 on those 8 and then the 2 trades make £300 um, each or £500 each. You will basically, you know, you're going to more than cover um, your losses. So it's not a case about how many trades do we get right, how many trades do we get wrong. The end of the day is how much do the winning trades make and how much do the losing trades uh, lose. You know, you've heard of the old um, saying, you know, you've got to let your profits uh, run and keep your losses short. And that's, how, and that's the reason. Most people can't do this. They want to win. They like the idea of winning. Uh, they like the idea of being right. Now. The idea of winning and being right doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make money. And that's the only reason you should be doing this at the end of the day is to make money. Um, it's not a case of like, oh, you know, I went to the golf club and I said, well, well done. I've had nine winning trades. But if I had nine winning trades and those nine trades made £100 each and then the one losing trade lost me 1000 great. I've had a 90% success, but I'm still down. It's a zero-sum game. What does that mean? It means somebody wins, somebody loses. There's always a buyer, there's always a seller. If you go out and do an up trade today, uh, there's somebody on the other side of that trade. Okay, it's a simple market. Anyone that wants to argue that, no, that isn't the case, well, sorry, that's the way it works. There was a great study done by Professor Lawrence Harris, and you can download this from uh, this site here. And basically what they did, they went into um, the markets of winners and losers, basically, why people trade. It was done on the futures markets in the States. But the futures markets is very, very similar to the spread trading market in the UK. Um, what was interesting, a lot of the traders basically um, didn't really trade to make money. They did it for entertainment, you know, which is crazy. There are various sources of information, and with the internet, there's Bloomberg, there's CNBC on television, there's God knows how many newspapers and magazines. You've got to be very, very careful. There's a lot of news. Do you remember what we said earlier, that you've got um, buyers and sellers? There's always going to be different views. There's always going to be the bears and the bulls. That's what makes the market. If, we w if the market was all on one side, then there'd be nobody else to take your other side. Um, so you've got to understand there's going to be a lot of news, there's going to be a lot of conflicting information. That's what makes the market, that noise basically keeps us going. So be careful, maybe you've got into a position and then somebody's told you something differently or you've picked up the Sunday paper and you may have bet something to go down and the Sunday paper's gone and tipped it. Don't just change your view because you've read something in a Sunday newspaper. Okay, 